Hi folks, today I want to show you one of the simplest biomass stove designs that I've ever seen. This stove design takes less than five minutes to make and is shockingly effective. So let's get started. First, locate a small soup can. Sadly, these cans are all too common in the woods. Then, using a can tap, make a series of eight evenly spaced ports at the bottom of the can. Next, create a matching set of eight ports at the top of the can. Now, using your fingers, crimp the edges along the top rim of the can. Watch your fingers. Those edges are really sharp. Finally, using a nail or the tip of your knife, drive a series of evenly spaced portholes along the circumference of the can. These tertiary ports should be driven in near the bottom third of the can. The finished stove takes less than five minutes to craft. This stove is designed for a fire that burns from the top to the bottom. For this demonstration, I'm using one cup of hardwood pellets as the fuel. In the wild, I can find small dry twigs and that works just as well. When loading the stove, it's important to make sure that your fuel sits just below the top ports. Using a Vaseline coated cotton ball as tinder, I start the fire. Now, it takes about three minutes for the flame to establish itself in the wood pellets. Once the pellets start burning, the genius of this design is revealed. The fire near the top of the stove consumes the air inside of the stove, and then it creates a vacuum. This vacuum sucks up the air from the bottom ports to power the flame. Now, as the wood burns, it emits large amounts of wood gas, which normally would leave the flame as smoke. However, with this stove design, the vacuum caused by the flame also sucks in fresh air from the top ports. This air mixes with the wood gas and combusts, resulting in a secondary flame which is super efficient and almost smokeless. This stove can be used for heating or to boil water. When boiling water, I use an improvised pot stand made out of an old metal clothes hanger. Now, two cups of water can be brought to a rolling boil after 10 minutes on the stove. This stove is extremely fuel efficient in channeling thermal energy towards the pot. Even at full burn, the sides of the stove can be touched. With just one cup of wood pellets, I measure the total boiling time of the water to be 43 minutes. Over time, as more and more wood fuel is burnt into ash, the bottom ports will slowly become clogged up with ash. However, the tertiary portholes will continue to suck in fresh air and keep the fire burning until almost nothing remains of the wood. Now, after one hour and three minutes of burning, the fire finally dies down. This stove design is incredibly easy to construct. It can be made in the wild with limited tools. This design is also extremely fuel efficient. In a wilderness survival situation, such a stove can greatly reduce the amount of wood fuel needed to meet cooking and heating needs. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a bunch and see you later. Bye.